Follow thou these wars. Disguise thy favor with a usurped beard. I say, put money in thy purse. It cannot be that Desdemona should long continue her love to the more. Put money in thy purse. She must change for youth. When she is sated with his body, she'll find the error of her choice. She must have changed. She must, therefore, make money. <laughs> Thou must needs damn thyself. Do it a more delicate way than drowning. <laughs> make all the money thou canst. If sanctimony and a frail vow betwixt a super subtle Venetian and an erring barbarian be not too hard for my wit and all the tribe of hell, thou wilt enjoy her. Therefore, put money in thy purse. A pox on drowning thyself. Just clean out of the way. Seek thou rather to be hanged and cut to sing <gasps> thy joy than to be drowned and go without her. Wilt thou be fast in my hope if I depend on the issue? Thou art sure of me. There are many events in the womb of time that will be delivered. Traverse! Go provide thy money. I do. We'll have more of this tomorrow. Oh, uh, where shall we meet in the morning? Uh, at my lodging. I'll be with thee betimes. Go to farewell. Oh, Roderico, do you hear? What say you? No more talk of drowning, do you hear? I'm changed! Go to farewell. Put money enough in your purse! I'll go sell all my land! <laughs> oh, thus do I ever make my fool my purse. For I my own gain knowledge should profane if I would time expend with such a snipe for my sport and profit. my sheets, he had done my office. I know not if it be true, but I, for mere suspicion in that kind, do as if for surety. He holds me well. But then I shall my purpose work on him. See, Cassio is a proper man. Let me see now, to get his place and to plume up my will. How? How? Let me see. After some time to abuse Othello's ear that Cassio is... An open nature that think men honest that but seem to be so, and will as tenderly be led by the nose as asses are. <laughs> I, I, I have it. It is engendered. Hell and night must bring this monstrous birth to the world's light. 